HBCUs are places of very high cultural competence. They recognize who that student is. HBCUs recognize where that student came from. But then most importantly, HBCUs walk with that student until he or she gets a degree. When our students attend HBCUs, they know that when they do mess up, they're not going to be judged harshly, but they do know that somebody somewhere, financial aid office, cafeteria somewhere, somebody's going to give them some tough love and say, you better do better. And not you better do better because you can't do anything else. You better do better because we all know you can do better. It's March 10th, 1989. I'm initiated into the fraternity. I see a bunch of guys in a room, they're wearing their levers, and everybody, understandably, is very happy, right? They're hugging each other, they are living it up, they're whooping it up, they're doing all the things that guys who get initiated in fraternities and young ladies who get initiated in sororities do as far as just being happy. And here's Eddie Francis standing there thinking to himself, my God, I'm in the same fraternity as Martin Luther King now. What am I doing? The issue, however, wasn't living up to Martin Luther King living up to Martin Luther King Jr., the man, just happened to be an Alpha Phi Alpha. There's a skill set that you learn in college, and that skill set is designed to help you get from point A to point B, but it's up to you to utilize your resources so that you can use that skill set to get what you want. You have this opportunity with this scholarship, figure out how to expand on that. Figure out how when you get in college, you are not going to let anybody get in your way of getting an education that is rightfully yours. Now, I have to tell you a little secret about college. College is a competition. But gentlemen, against whom do you think you're competing? Yourself. One of the best things that I had ever been told when I was trying to make a decision about which fraternity that I wanted to join before I made this very wise decision of becoming an alpha man. One of the things that I have been told was this, you can't run a race if you're looking at your competition. When you think of Robert King Jr., think of what you can do to spread a message of a peaceful coexistence to people, regardless of their race. Motivate or simply listen to someone who believes that his or her life has little to no meaning, regardless of their race. To your part, whatever that is, in whatever profession you exist, help others enjoy a fine quality of life, regardless of their race. Simply wish someone, regardless of his or her race, a happy King Day. Thank you very much.